order followers. These are the people who keep the system of slavery in place. Okay, They're the people who keep the system of, sla in, of slavery in place. Let me just say this again. Order followers are the people who keep the existence of slavery in place. Not the ruling class, not the masters, not the so-called elite, which aren't the elite of anything but the bottom of a trash can. Okay? The people who keep slavery in place are the people who willfully follow their orders. Nobody wants to hear that. And people will hate you for saying it. <laughs> Following orders means, by definition, doing what you are told to do without judging for yourself whether or not that action that you are being ordered to carry out is actually right or wrong. That's the definition of following orders. I mean, can anybody refute that? Is that not the actual definition of following someone else's order? By definition, you're not, if you're following the order, you're given the order and then you just act. You just do it because you're following the order. You don't sit there and go, is what that person told me to do right? Do I have a right to do that? Is that moral? Should I do that because, you know, it, it's okay and it doesn't hurt somebody else? Or should I not do that because it actually does cause harm? It's not what an order follower does in their mind. An order follower says, yes, sir, and follows the order. That's why it's called an order follower. That's why it's called following an order. So that's the definition of what an order follower is. It's not my perception of what an order follower is. It's the actual definition of order following. Okay? If an individual, this is key to understand, if an individual is performing the task of following orders, by definition, that individual can not be exercising conscience. Since, by definition, exercising conscience means that one is willfully choosing through their free will for themselves right action over wrong action. So the, the concept of following orders is completely polar opposite to the concept of exercising conscience. You cannot be doing the same things simultaneously. It's impossible to do those two things simultaneously. They are contradictions in terms by definition. Okay, most people don't grasp that. Okay? By definition, if you're following orders, you cannot be actually exercising conscious, conscience, which involves free will choice based on the knowledge of right and wrong. Here's what order following gets us as far as a nation is concerned. You know, not that we're not already there, not that these people already didn't take us. Because we're taken by them already, covertly. They took us through the school systems. They, they couldn't beat us militarily. So they said, well, let's send our ideologues over there and get into the minds of their children. And if you don't believe that's what happened, you're very, very, very naive. Not only the Nazis, but the communists as well. Because really, it's all just forms of socialism. That's what feudalism is. Worldwide socialism is, there's no such thing as private property. State owns everything. Rights don't exist. Property rights don't exist. Everybody's a feudal serf again. It's called neo-feudalism. I don't care which branch you come at it from. You want to come at it from the left, that's called communism. You want to come at it from the right, that's called national socialism. Communism is international socialism. They're both the same force. It's called feudalism. Let's just call it what it is. It's called feudalism, which is in itself just another euphemism for slavery. They want neo-feudalism, which is the new world order of, of slavery. Okay? And it's already here. It's not something that's coming. It's here now. The object is to get out of it. This is the result of following orders. That's what following orders gets to society. Following orders should never be seen as a virtue. Following orders is evil. I don't care whether you're, I don't, I don't care if somebody, I don't care if somebody who is considered a holy man gives me an order and I'm, I follow it. I've just committed an act of evil. As far as I'm concerned. If I'm acting based on solely what somebody else has told me to do, that's evil. There's no morality in it at all. At all. At all. 
There's, it's not a virtue. It's evil. Okay? Let me just make that so abundantly clear and state it so unequivocally. There's no such thing as any possible moral following of orders. The two terms are contradictory. All right? I was just following orders is never a valid excuse or justification for immoral criminal behavior and this lame attempt to abdicate personal responsibility should never be accepted as a valid excuse for such behavior. And why it's done is through justification. And again, that means to create a right from jus, meaning right or law, and the Latin verb facere, which means to make or to create. And this is what they say. I was just following orders. I was just doing my job. I was shutting down your protest. You don't have a right to speak. The politicians commanded me so. So I just came out and I was just doing my job, hitting you with a sound cannon. You know, just doing my job, just following my orders. It's a justification. You're a criminal. There's nothing moral in that. There's nothing virtuous in that. It's called criminal behavior, criminal activity. And what they do is try to create it into a right, make it into a right by a justification. And nobody should ever accept their justifications. Because you know what their justifications is? You know what they are? It's called a 100% crock of bull that is a complete lie. It's a lie. They're just straight up looking you in the face and saying, I'm not responsible for that. I just did it, but I'm not the one who's responsible for it because I was acting on orders. Well, see, this defense didn't work as the Nuremberg defense, and nobody in America should be accepting it. Nobody in America should be accepting it because they believe in the legitimacy of authority and government through mind control. That's what the, they believe it. They believe there's legitimacy to it. Most people actually believe that there's legitimacy to this criminal behavior because a class of people calling themselves government have magically been imbued and gifted with such rights, quote unquote. They believe they have rights other people don't. They themselves believe it, but worse is that the people who are actually affected by that criminal behavior, they believe they have the authority to do it. Gandhi said, you assist an evil system most effectively by obeying its orders and decrees. An evil system never deserves such allegiance. Allegiance to it means partaking of the evil. A good person will resist an evil system with his or her whole soul, which means saying no 